Hi people, I'm Joshua Agwala. I'm a programmer, speaker, and future skills activist. And today we'll be talking about the basics of JavaScript and how it works. So first, what is JavaScript? JavaScript is a programming language used to make your website dynamic. If you might have seen some website built to HTML and CSS, so they just look dull and you click a button and you don't see anything or it's just plain old website with just links. But what does JavaScript do? JavaScript can give you the ability to be able to make your website dynamic and make people excited. Like when you click the button, a pop up comes up and tells you this way you enable voice recognition to your website. There are lots of things you can do with JavaScript relating to websites. JavaScript will be used for many things like machine learning, TensorFlow.js, which I built an image classifier on. We also have um, uh, we have Node.js, um, we have um, Electron.js for for desktop apps. We have React Native for mobile apps. We have a lot of things we can you can do with JavaScript. So, what are the requirements that you need for the coding of JavaScript? First, you need a code editor or IDE, which you call an integrated development environment. You also will need um, um, a browser. You also will need um, basic understanding in HTML and CSS. So, what are the first steps in be making your first JavaScript app? First, you have to write the code, which is the most important part, and then load the code, load to the browser, and then execute the code, which simply means running the code. So, write the code, the most important part, load the code, and execute the code. So, let's talk about basic things that we have in JavaScript. We have um, loops. Functions and conditions. There are still more things you can do. You can check JavaScript, JavaScript documentation. You can go to www.3schools. There are a lot of places to learn JavaScript for free. Even Free Code Camp got some JavaScript classes. So, um, if apart from loops, functions, and conditions, we also have libraries. And you know, we, we have um, plugins and we have APIs for JavaScript. So let's first start with what a condition is, the basic understanding on what a condition is. Let's say um, a condition is if or else. Like if this is equals to this, okay, let me make it simpler in real life. Let's say you want to go and get some ice, some ice cream and you had an ugly boy. He said that if this boy equals nothing, no ice cream for him. But if this boy is being obedient, of course, there's some ice cream for that guy. Simple. If and else. Else is that... If the boy is nothing, is the if? No, but if else, 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 that means you get some action because you are being you are being obedient. Another thing we have is also if else, which is different. You can be combining both an if statement and an else statement together in one. We're just merging it together. And it's good for a lot of things. Our conditions are very simple in programming because you use it a lot in programming. So I conclude that um, conditions are not hard. It's just like an if and an else statement. Like if you click a button, it's supposed to allow something else. Just the, let us leave the blank page. And loops also just like a rep repetition of, of things all over and all over again. So, um, thank you for watching. Kindly share this video and do subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
for more informative videos on technology. Bye!